everyone, Liz here. So for today's video, I thought I'd share something a bit different since I'm always doing cleaning routines and clean with me. I never really share with you guys like how I maintain a clean home. So I thought this video would just be like perfect. Just some helpful tips that help me keep my home clean for a little bit longer. And with that being said, my home is never perfectly clean. It just happens when you're living, when you're breathing, when you're just here, you know, diapers get piled up, water bottles, um, nail polish gets left out. It's all good. I just want to share some helpful tips that help me maintain a clean home for longer. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get into this video. So also these tips are in no particular order. So sorry if it's just like here and random and just all over the place. But anywho, like the first tip that helps me maintain my kitchen is putting away dishes. Say if I wake up in the morning and there's a pile of dishes that need to be put away before I'll make breakfast, I'll put those away and with breakfast, I'll wash them and then put them in a sink. And those are the breakfast dishes and say I have to make lunch later. Before I'll wash the lunch dishes, I'll go ahead and put away breakfast. So that way there's just not a bunch of dishes that need to be put away later on in the day. And also like say if I just like having a busy day and I'm not really like even trying to wash dishes that day. So what I'll do is just rinse the dishes and stack them in the dishwasher because sometimes like me, I forget that I have a dishwasher and I have something to wash my dishes but I forget and I'm just like, no, I'll hand wash it faster. But in reality, I'll just rinse them and just put them in the dishwasher and then let them pile up. And then once dinner is over, I'll just put on the dishwasher and in the morning, I'll put the dishes away. So yeah, that one's just a little bit common, but it does help me a ton throughout the day. So yeah, moving on to the next one. Um, what is the next one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so for number two is all the people that have a two-story home like me I have a two-story townhome and with that being said like a lot of things just get like Piled on my stairs and what helps me out is putting a basket So anytime I'll have stuff to put upstairs I'll just load up that basket and it, it doesn't even have to be right away But I just load it up and then once I'm going upstairs I'll just quickly bring that up with me because before I used to just kind of like let it be just let it hang out on the stairs forever But it's just so simple just putting up a basket so that we could just bring it up and down the stairs Faster and it's just a lot easier as well. All right, so now for this next one. This one is for like laundry so what helped me out a ton because laundry, I don't know, I feel like that was just like the worst thing to do in my house. Like I could literally wash dishes, clean my kitchen, scrub toilets, bathrooms, everything kind of came easy to me but laundry, laundry. And I don't know, And it, last time I did a laundry routine you guys were like, really? You, I, laundry is kind of easy for me and I'm just like, I don't know why laundry, I just, I do not like laundry. But anywho, what helps me out is keeping the laundry separated before I even have to do laundry. So I have three different baskets in my closet, I have like the master closet, and I have one for Eric's clothes, one for my clothes, and one for the kids' clothes. Since their clothes are a lot smaller, theirs is easier to wash in like one load, one giant load. And like me and Eric, we can't really like wash clothes together because, or we can, but I choose to like do it separately since I could just wash one basket of laundry and then dry it and fold it and put it away is a lot easier so I don't have to like scatter and like kind of separate stuff. So that's just what's been helping me out. So yeah, you guys should definitely try that out. And also Eric has all black clothes. Like if you see his laundry, all he has is dark. So you don't really have white t-shirts or anything. And I have white t-shirts, so I just separate them like that. And yeah, so that's it for this one. Moving on to the next. So another thing that helps me maintain a clean home is having a realistic cleaning routine and not having too much to do or too overwhelming things to do like too many stuff to put on my cleaning routine because I like to do like the basics every day which is clean my kitchen and like the living room downstairs that's just the big like goal I like to set for myself every day not have to deep clean it just like clean enough that looks nice and I'm like happy when I wake up in the morning but anyways I like to clean the bathrooms two times a week and also mop three times a week. So that could be like every other day or every day I skip to. Because mopping now takes a while for me since I have a lot more hard work floor in my house. So yeah, I like to mop like three times a week. And I'm talking about the kitchen. I literally just mop like the bathrooms once a week when I'm cleaning the bathrooms. So I say twice a week the bathrooms because I like to just like ever so often just wipe down the counters. That could be like every other day. I just like to set realistic cleaning routines and whatever fits your like pattern and your schedule or whatever like that. So just have a realistic cleaning routine and just like main things that you really Really want to get done and just have those like for certain days or whatever you could save those when the hubby's home so that way he could be watching the kids so you can get that done fast because I feel like I can just clean so fast like especially if I don't have like if Eric could just be watching the kids take them to the park or whatever so that just comes in handy for me just having a realistic cleaning routine okay so I was on the fence of mentioning this one because I don't know people's opinion about this so let me know if like 
what you guys think about this. But for me and like my family, what helps me maintain a clean home is not wearing shoes in the house. Maybe this is just my OCD, I don't know, but like walking around with your shoes just gonna leave, you know, dark spots on the carpet, just gonna attract a lot of dirt. So what we like to do is come home, take off our shoes. And I remember when we did have a lot of hardwood floor on the downstairs, we would just like wear inside shoes which would be like sandals, slippers, whatever you guys want to wear. Just like shoes just to go inside and also we had like sandals to go outside if we we're just like, you know, going to get a mail or going to get something outside real quick or throw the trash or whatever. So honestly, that one just helps me have like a better mindset like, hey, my house is not, like, not dirty because we don't, we're not wearing our shoes in the house and like I feel like it's safer that way especially because like the kids don't have to put anything weird in their mouth if we're attracting something in her shoes or anything like that and it's just like honestly once you start this it's become so natural you don't even think about it and even my kids are so used to this now that every time we come home they go on their bench they take off their shoes and they just go about with their little feet all over the carpet and it's just so natural to them and that way i don't have to worry about this carpet getting dirty i don't have to shampoo it as often as i normally do or yeah just stuff like that so if you haven't considered taking off your shoes in the house definitely try this one because you're just gonna feel like so much more clean you're not gonna feel like like dirty on your feet you're not gonna see like black marks on your feet so I don't know I just thought I'd throw that one in there but honestly it's just up to you whatever you feel like but yeah so that's it for that one now moving on to the next so for this next one it's pretty easy just everything should have a home like you should have a home for everything so that way you know where everything goes and that thing's just like piling up in like a certain part of your home like even just like stuff that like are so random I have like like art stuff in my hall closet out there I have like diapers I have just the most random things but they all have a certain home that I know where they go so just having a home for everything is just gonna make everything look more tidy around the house so yeah that's just a simple one that I carry with me throughout the day and this next one is really simple as well and I'm pretty sure you guys already know it but I'm just gonna say it anyways so every time we're done eating I like to do a quick um, sweep up sorry my hubby sent me a picture oh let me see oh <laughs> so cute look how cute that picture is he's watching the kids downstairs while I'm filming this video so yeah what was I even saying <laughs> I forgot Oh yeah, so like I was saying, we like to do a quick sweep up after breakfast and lunch or every time they're eating on the table, really just so it doesn't attract so many crumbs and we don't have to walk around with crumbs on your feet or anything like that. And since we have kids, they're not the best at eating and they throw a lot of their food on the floor. So yeah, just doing a quick sweep up after the kids are done eating will help the kitchen stay clean for longer. And these next ones are super easy and simple. I just kind of thought I'd throw it in there because I personally love doing these. I like to open the window because especially it's freaking hot now, it's getting summer is basically here. But I like opening the, up the window and feeling that fresh air and just, it makes your home feel a lot more clean in the wind going through your house and it just feels so good. And also light your favorite candle once you're done cleaning or even when you're like about to clean or anything like that. Your house will feel so cozy and fresh and clean after that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these small little tips I wanted to share with you. I just thought I'd share some things that help me maintain a clean home for longer, even though my house is always messy it feels like but anyways i just thought i'd share them if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and also comment down below and let me know if you guys would like me to do more vlogs eric is currently on vacation for about 10 days nine days it's already been like two his birthday is on june 12th tuesday and i don't know i'm just like i love vlogging let me know if you guys want to see more of them comment down below and i'll definitely do some so yeah with that being said i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye